Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar, and here's a brand new halacha for you, and it's for Wednesday, the 23rd day of February. Here we go. Today's halacha is about a law called Dino de Malchusa Dino. The law of the land is the law. That's how it works. Like, for example, if you wanted to start doing animal sacrifice in your backyard because you want to do some ancient biblical rite, and I think it's against, I'm assuming it's against United States law, and they would come and fetch you from your backyard and you'd say, no, 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 I'm just doing my religion. <laughs> so we, we can't do that. We'd love to do our religion, and thank God we live in a free country where we're allowed to do our religion. But basically, to violate the laws of our country is something that we are not allowed to do. Um, some rabbis say that it's actually a biblical command issued in, uh, in the prophets. When Shmuel Hanavi, the great prophet, told the Jews about a king, he said, if you're going to have a king, you're going to have to follow all of his laws. And if you live in a land, you're going to have to follow all of their laws. But that has very interesting ramifications for you. That might mean that, um, oh, if the speed limit says 55 and you're driving 70, you're violating the law of the land. Um, so you want, might want to think about that a lot, especially in times like this. I know a lot of you listening are teenagers, but parents who evade taxes and you know pay false amounts or oh cheat on parking tickets or do all kinds of strange stuff, there is a law of our land in place, and we are expected to follow the law of our land. And when someone just says, oh, what the heck, I feel like doing this, he's not really empowered to do that. He's expected to obey the laws of the land, pay his taxes fairly, etc., etc. It is true that in the Talmud there are stories about where certain people were told to stay away from the tax collectors because blah blah blah. The Gemara says clearly that those were referring to tax collectors who just kind of just appointed themselves as border guards and said you owe me money and they weren't really full full government employees. They just grab taxes from people, and their money was considered stolen money. But we who live in well-established governed societies, like the United States of America, where set laws are in place, we pretty much have to follow the laws of the land, and if they say you've got to give 28% of your money to the tax man at tax time, then you just have to do it. Uh, you can follow all the legal loopholes that there are, but basically, today's law is cheating against the government is also cheating against the Jewish religion, which says, follow the laws of your land. Speak to your rabbi about any specific details and how this might apply to you, but that's the general law that follows all Jews in the countries that we find ourselves in. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.